All right, so you've decided to purchase yourself a set of relays. There they are. Um, I need to, uh, you want to know about the wiring. A lot of people have been asking about the wiring. How are they wired up? What do the color of wires mean? Actually, the color of wires don't really mean much uh, because different manufacturers of these harnesses will use different colors in different places for different reasons. You know, like if it's a company making it for GM, uh, or, or not GM, but uh, for one specific reason or for another, uh, they'll use different wires for different places. But anyways, for this particular set, I went and uh, the numbers are, are a little hard to see. All right, so I made you a little uh, diagram here. You see that the numbers, and you can see that those numbers will uh, line up with. The relay here. Now I don't know if you'll be able to see the numbers in the camera. I'm hoping so. But if you can't, you can remember how they're the pins are pointed. And see if I can line this up. Yeah, okay. So both of these are lined up in the same way. Alright, pause it if you need to and you can copy it down. And then we go into the colors of the wires and what they basically do in the numbers. Um, 87 is when you flick your switch in the car, the relay will turn on and it'll give positive power to number 87 or you know, so that's where you want to plug in your fog lights or driving lamps have you. This 87A is where the relay will sit at rest. So when it's normally off and there's no power, you'll see it this this little diagram here 87A, so we get a little closer, is where the, the number 30 is touching. So that means at rest, it's on 87A. Um, red is 86, and that one is from your switch, from inside your vehicle. Yellow is 85, and it's your ground. That's what you're going to uh, touch it to the... Uh, frame with and then your 30 is your source power so that's going to come from your battery and do fuse it it is important to fuse it um, I know it's it's a pain in the ass you can either use it from a larger uh, fuse source what you can do is um, well it's probably better to, to, to fuse each individual relay because um, this way you can find out when you do have a problem with a relay, you can find out which one is burning out on you. Another thing that they don't, uh, I don't believe they stay in here on these, uh, on Amazon, it's where I bought these from. Another little feature that I just realized after opening the package is that these harnesses actually pair up together. You can see there's a, a, a little slot here. Well, that matches up with this male part of the slot. Let me just get in the camera so you can see it. See that slot? And these two, one slides into the other. Oh, a little tight, but it does slide in. And then it'll lock in. A little tab will come into this side and it'll lock in. So you can actually put all your harnesses one after another. There we go. And they do come with the pins to uh, mount it to uh, your fender or your firewall. Um, as for me in my application, I'll be pulling these out and you can see there's a little tab there I can push in and I can pull that metal part out because I'll be putting these into a uh, project box of some sort, uh, hopefully a good heavy duty plastic and that's uh, sheltered or protected from the elements, you know, water and stuff like that. Uh, because to me these relays really they're not really outdoor relays, you know, these are just, uh, I mean, they're, they seem pretty good, they seem uh, sealed and everything, but uh, I, I just don't want to take that chance, I want to keep it nice and sealed and closed up and everything and uh, out of sight, out of mind type thing, but um, they're not the Genesis ones as shown on the website, I'll just put this up for you so you can see, the, there you go, that's the page of them. Cedar Genesis. They look the same. Now, I mean, like I said, it's probably got a bulk deal on on these relays, so that's the ones you're getting for now. 
So you make your mind up. They, like I said, they they appear to be uh, they appear to be good uh, good relays. Not too bad. Uh, not really much to say. They go on and they go off. But that gives you an idea for the uh, for the color coding of the wires for these ones. Yours might not be the same. So uh, you really have to go by the numbers and what the numbers do, and then you can check to see what the color of the wire is, and then go by that after on your order. All right. Thanks for watching.